Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. Your ellipses say it's hello. Saying hello as well. I'm Berathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. We are back in Ehadunan, but we actually need to travel to Rivendell and talk to the Thalion so that we can identify our very first legendary item and get ready to face the Watcher in the Water one more time. Uh, but first we, yeah, we need to identify the item. So hopefully this travel will be really quick. And we'll get going. Alright. So... Gotta go to the forges in Rivendell. <laughs> it seems the game is still like finishing loading some stuff in the background. I don't know. But yeah, it's kinda clunky. But it seems to be back on track now. Oh wow, I mistook my way, sorry. Uh, oh, what skills? Working on the railing of the bridge like that. Alright, so here is the Thalion. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. You have come a long way to be here, Beryathan. What business could bring a valiant warden such as yourself here to the forges of Rivendell? The Italian looks at the weapon and grows still, his eyes wide in wonderment. This is a relic of the elder days, my friend. I fear I cannot identify the lineage and strength of this weapon for you, but my friend Snar, the forge master, may be able to do just so. Show him this weapon and he will give you an assessment of its strengths and potential. Alright, so yeah, the tutorial for the legendary items, you need to identify them first at a forge master and reforge them when they level up. So let's identify our weapon. Kill gambit, spear gambit, okay. Not the best, not the worst. Alright, so now Okay, <laughs> I still can use that that panel. Uh but now we'll need to equip this weapon. Oh, that's right. Grey is the shadow upon my heart. I see that you have been given some relics. You should apply one of them to your weapon to further customize its abilities. Once you have done so, speak to me again. Alright. And now, so we have a setting of might. Setting of morale. Power. And we like, I think we can do the setting of morale. Good. A shadow is on my spirit. A good choice, Verathan. Lighting a relic into your weapon based on the situation may help turn defeat into victory. It has happened before. This weapon is still not strong enough to defeat the Watcher in the water, friend warden. But it might become so. I will tell you how this may come to pass. Well, let's take this title. Will you lend me your ear? Weapons of such worth improve as they are used, Brayathan. Only when they are wielded in battle can they achieve the true measure of their greatness. Use it against worthy foes and it will improve as your own skills advance. 
When it has achieved a high measure of worth, bring it to me or the learned Wolfie in Thorin's Hall in Ered Luin, and one of us will advise you on what must be done next. Okay, so first, let us equip the runes that we just got. And yeah, this rune of deflection, I think. Works best. For now, let us apply the title. Alright, I cannot use runes yet. Ah, you got me there. You got me there, Lotro. Um, okay, so I wasn't expecting that, really. What can we do to level up this weapon really quick? Um... Weapons. All right, I had an idea, but for that to work, I'm gonna go to the stable master. Let us see if we have any any unfinished quest that we can that we can tackle. Oh, they don't award. XP, but I want this. Has to count. Let us go back to Oregon then. How can I be of service? Let us grab a stable to a hat Mirovel. Would have been so much easier if you unlock the ability to use runes right now. I would just use a relatively low level, low XP rune and advance the quest right away. But now we'll need to. to fight some of these guys, lizards and crawlers. Would have been really nice, um, they being some of those quests that grant a legendary item XP for this moment, but I didn't remember I couldn't use the runes. Otherwise, I might have, yeah, saved one or two for, for that. But what I think I'm gonna do is also uh, pick up some quests in uh, here in Ehat Mirovel. I think there are a couple that we can do on the landscape. Like this one over here. Will you lend me your ear? Oh, I need awards legendary item experience. That's gonna be good. To our great dismay, we have learned that the Akmarim have established an outpost among the ruins of Miraville. Through the repeated efforts of valiant folks such as yourself, we have done well to thin their numbers and ease the threat they present. There are other matters at hand, however, and these matters, while requiring the Akmarim to further establish themselves in these lands, could prove particularly dangerous if our efforts prove vain. To that end, I will dispatch you to Miravel in search of a very rare iron found only on the borders of Ankmar and Forohel. This iron, taken from deep within the core of the frozen mountains, can be worked into a terrible metal in the hands of a skilled artisan. Though I think it improbable that such an artisan is among our foes, I would rather err on the side of caution and ensure the safety of my people. Only the Akmarin would be allowed to carry this iron, search among them for the iron, return to me when you have proven my inkling right or wrong. All right. So we have that one quest. Hopefully, by by killing the enemies and completing that quest, we'll get enough legendary item XP. Well, 
What about this Might quest? Spare a moment of your time? At one time, the school at Tan Mirdain was a bastion of the free exchange of knowledge. Students of every art would gather in the courtyard or the great hall and there discuss history, crafts, arts, and music. All manner of topics dear to the elves would be shared among those scholars. When war darkened these lands, the knowledge prevailed in other areas of Middle-earth, but many scars of what transpired here remain upon the elves. Now, the school is a reminder of the brighter days we once shared with our brethren. We cannot abide the arrival of the White Hand within its walls, and so we must do something to drive the enemy out. Here in Miravel we have had signs and portents that a great leader drives the forces of the White Hand. I would ask that you search for them throughout Miravel and search the enemies for a symbol of the White Hand. With that, I may be able to discern the identity and location of their leader. Uh, out of the north, out of the south, alright. We just gotta find some of those enemies for the Ankmarim Iron and the uh, symbol of the White Hand. That's all that we need, really, and... Uh, and yeah, Ehad Mirabel really doesn't have that much landscape quests. Most of the quests will eventually lead you to, to the school and the library. Okay, so we have leveled up to level 4, actually. This is gonna be fast, really. Let's take the chance to advance some of these dits a little bit. You know me. But none of them are rotten. The iron. Alright, we have the iron. Now, we need a symbol of the white hand. But who dropped them? Uh, I would. I would say a downlanding. But it seems they don't drop as easily as other quest items. Doing really good with critical strike. That's something. Alright. Another downlanding scout here. Hopefully one of them will drop the symbol of the white hand. It. Oh. Yeah, finally. Let us go and turn in this quest. This will be more than enough to reach level 10 on the legendary item. But that means that we we might lose some XP when turning these quests because I don't think it's worth it going back to Rivendell to reforge and then coming back in to to turn the other one. I mean, there's plenty of legendary item XP on the game as it is. So I think we can just complete this too. These quest lines will advance a little bit more on the landscape, but I'm not gonna do them. This is an unnerving discovery. 
None of our efforts have yielded an indication that there is an accomplished weaponsmith amongst the Ankh encamped here, yet still they carry the Ankh iron with them. We must remain diligent in our efforts to thwart these enemies, Brethan. Your work does not go unnoticed. Mind my words, Chapman. I hate to do this. I must ask you to assuage my fears and return to Mirrorville and to the presence of the Akmarim there. You have done much already, but the hardships are never done when such foes are at hand. My heart warns me that there is a smith among the Akmarim capable of working with the iron you discovered. I would ask that you return to Mirrorville and search many Akmarim there. You might very well find a smith bearing a brand of Ankmar. In fact, I expect that you will. I have seen this branch before and they denote a level of respect to the prowess of the smith who possesses the item. Only a great smith would carry one and only a great smith would work with the fell ore you found. If you eliminate the smith, the bearer of the brand, you may do more than you guess to hinder the dour work of this presence from the north. Alright, so no, it was not enough to reach level 10, but the next one surely will. Just wanna move legendary item XP here as I am used to checking that on the top of the screen. Okay. What do you need? Yes, this symbol is the one that I sought. I had seen glimpses there you brought me this piece, but now I can study it closely. We have discerned that it belongs to one named Tarsh, a commander of the forces of the White Hand. This symbol was the last piece I needed to know what we faced. I am grateful to you for your generous deed, Breathan. We have tracked the forces of Isengard and believe they are ransacking an ancient school, desperately searching for any knowledge related to the making of the Rings of Power. We must find the school before them. Alright, ready to go back to Rivendell. I don't think I have actually done the quest lines, these ones that will lead you to the school and the library. So this will be nice for another moment. Not this one though. Just gotta go back to the Italian and uh Well no, not the Italian, but I don't know yeah. Gotta bring that the, the weapon back to him. Reforge. And then we'll be ready to face the watcher and oh god. <laughs> there is a missing thing here. Let's pick it. Opening the message reveals orders from a captain of Ankmar. We are to dispatch forces to the elf lands of Eregion and there is search among the ruins for any remnant of their bygone era. Outlying ruins are to be scoured but the main thrust of our forces will be upon the Ringe Forge itself. Tifton Gersh will be in charge of the expedition, a testament to the Orc's great assistance in our clandestine warfare served him well. This message ends here. The elves present at the Ringe Forge may well want to know of this message. They can be found far to the southwest in the ruins known as Ehat Miraville. What do we have in here? An ornaneth? Might you spare a moment? Alright, this is for Heligrod. Alright, so a return to Ehat Miraville is in order, it seems, because I'm not gonna spend 10 or so levels with this item on my back. So yeah, we're gonna do that really quick and then back on track. My heart cannot sing today. You have done very well, Beratan. Your weapon has advanced to an impressive level indeed. Will you hear my sorrows? Now that your weapon has reached the tenth level of advancement, a forge master can reforge it for you, unmasking its hidden potential anew. Perhaps your weapon now harbors the strength to face the creature that lurks within the black pool, Beryathan. You should bring it to the Forge Master for reforging, and mayhap your newly refurbished blade will be at last best of flesh of the Cruel Watcher. At your service and your families. Light damage. This is a good one, yeah. The Forge Master has reforged the weapon, revealing some hidden properties. A shadow is on my spirit. That has done it, Verethan. The reforging of your weapon has revealed it to be of very high quality indeed. You must return to Holin at once and show Radwald, the dwarf at the crumbling arc near Ehadunen, that you wield a great weapon. Surely it will give the dwarves of his company newfound hope. Go at once, friend. 
I think that weapon has come forth from the very fibers of legend for this purpose. Alright, so let us dip some points. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, let's leave it at that. Now we're gonna map to Ehadunen. Thanks to our milestone. But you know what? No, I think I can actually... We can actually go first to Ehad Miravel and we're not far from the stables. So we can travel back to Ehad Miravel turning this quest for the missive. In fact, we can remove these two from here. Turning the missive and then we can use our map skill to save us just a little bit of time. What do you need? No, what are you doing? I have Mirabel, please. Let us go. I'm more than ready to face the Watcher. I really want to make it into Moria. <laughs> you don't know how much, or maybe you do. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you like questing in Moria? Or do you not? And why? Personally, as I told you in a previous episode, I enjoy Moria because it really gives you that that sensation, that feeling of being trapped, of being overwhelmed. And on all Lord of the Rings games I played, Moria is always a highlight. And I enjoy it very much every time. How can I be of service? My thanks, Berethan. We know that the Ankmarim are further defiling the ruins of our past, but we now have greater information on what they seek and who leads them. This information will undoubtedly prove useful. We shall redouble our efforts in searching among the ruins here within Ehat Mirabel. I wonder, though, if you would be interested in some other work involving the Ankmarim. Alright. Oh, no, yeah. Let us. We're not so far from the stable master, really. What do you need? We're not gonna need that milestone skill, but it's such a long cooldown that every time you can save it, you should do it. I thought the stable master in Ehat Mirabel was on a lower level, so I thought it was gonna be faster to use the map instead of looking for the stable master. But it seems that was not the case. The issue here is the animation when leaving Ehat Mirabel, but well, we're already doing that, so... And forgive me if I'm sounding a little bit funny. I think I got a cold again, and I'm, I don't know how, because I have not been outside. Let's just pick this locker really quick. Alright. Let us go back to Rotwolf. We will reclaim the lost halls of Kazadun! Welcome back, Periathan. Did that weapon of the Elder Days prove worthwhile, or was it a fruitless chase? Radwell's eyes widen in surprise. This weapon has become even more powerful in your hands, Periathan. Surely now we have the strength to stand against the horror in that faded pool. We will reclaim the lost halls of Kazadum. This weapon may be what we need to drive off the Watcher in the water, Periathan, and allow the dwarves to enter Moria. Speak to me when you are ready, and I will bring you to Bossy and Brogur. They will be pleased to see there is hope again at last. Oh yeah, let's go. I hope you know what you're doing, friend. Are you ready? I will bring you to Bossy so that he may be heartened by the mighty weapon that has returned from the depths of time. This may be the advantage we need to wreak vengeance upon the Watcher in the Water for the death of Roin and the other lives it claimed that day.
Dyer is the creature called the Watcher in the Water by the Dwarves, an ancient evil called forth by the Dark Lord. Perhaps through the power of legend, a way can be seen past the terror. The foul creature that watches from within the depths of the pool will feel the sharp bite of your weapon and be afraid. Try forth and teach it a lesson it will be long in forgetting. So it is not just for the sake of Casadum, but for the memory of Broin taken by that fell creature. My nephew deserved a better fate than to die in that thing's grasp. When you have driven off or, or slain the creature, we will be unopposed and may walk into Moria unhindered. One of my dwarves has gone ahead to scout for the beast. Look for him and be watchful. Good fortune, Beriathan. Trust in the sharp bite of your weapon. talking over that music but if you took the time to listen to it the lyrics I mean it's the the poem of the ring on the black speech of Mordor and the music is also very fitting it's one of my favorite musical pieces in the game it's worth listening to the shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom there are ripples in the water but I do not see the beast be on your guard for it may attack without warning as unlucky Bruin learned at his peril. Oh, oh. Oh, well, you are getting what you deserve. Oh, more? What do you mean the target is already dead? Attack! Stop it! Austin, what are you doing here? No longer will I cut my grief, Brayathan. Nay. I will avenge my son in battle and woe to this creature that took him from me. Hooray! Show yourself, monster. Uh, Do you think it's gone? Uh, Leave me alone. How many more of these tentacles are there? I cannot thank you enough for this, Brethan. Not only have you driven off the beast that kept us out of Moria, but you have avenged my son as well. I will never forget your great service to me, and will always be in your debt and at your service. Broin spoke often of combat and great heroics. He would have marveled at your battle with the fierce Watcher. We have done it, Brethan. We have driven the Watcher from the doors of Durin, and now the dwarves of our expedition may pass into the mines of Moria. The weapons we found have proven the difference, friend. Yes, my dwarves have equipped themselves from the same cache, and the creature has learned to fear the sharp bite of the Iron Garrison. You have avenged my nephew Broin as well, and all of the dwarves who have been lost to this creature. It retreats now through dark passages. Mates, rhythm, raking arms never trouble us again. We must return now to tell the rest of the expedition what you have accomplished, and that we may now pass into the mines of Moria. We will reclaim the lost halls of Khazadum! The rest of the dwarves have entered Moria in search of fortune, Beriathan, and we have you to thank for it. So, mind, vitality, morale, incoming healing, or agility. No, let's take the agility. Perhaps there is still hope. Ulk is waiting to speak with you just inside the doors of Durin. You remember him, do you not? He is pleased that you proved such a boon to the expedition and will be delighted to speak with you again. And that way you will get our second 
And so it was that the Iron Garrison passed the doors of Durin and entered the dark of Moria. But they were not the first to brave the mines, nor will they be the last. What an amazing cinematic. The graphical quality is an upgrade, I believe, from what we got on Volume 1. And the way in which it adapted the that passage from the book up to the point where Gandalf was holding the gate, that was great. The last picture before we enter Moria with the doors open as well let us go so we're finally inside as I told you before not getting outside until we finish Moria that means no festival no anything until Moria is done until we come through the east gate I think that would break the immersion, so... You did the Great Delbin, you did in the footsteps of the Fellowship you have discovered during the Threshold. We have a new title, Seeker of Dead Places. And this is the footsteps of the Fellowship. Alright. And... Tell me. Okay, perfect. We're ready to continue. Casa Doom awaits! Beryatan, hello! Here we are inside Casa Doom at last. There is a great deal to be done at the several camps we're establishing here, and you can help us to succeed at the mighty task before us. Bossy asked me to reward you for your leadership before the doors. Take this with his tanks and those of the entire Iron Garrison. Here are our second legendary item. You did the Bile Maw and you did the Mines of Moria. A lot of new deeds. The Mines of Moria, uh, six books to complete, one class trait point waiting at the end of it. The Bile Maw here. One out of three. That's a good one too. There is so much work to be done, Beryathan, here and elsewhere in the mines. This has been a great victory for the Iron Garrison, but this is only the beginning of our toils beneath the mountains. You must aid our people here at Durin's Threshold and at our other encampments if we are to have victory in Casa Doom. Let us begin then. Abide here a moment and speak with me. Welcome to Moria, Beryathan. You join us at a momentous time. I am the master of the expedition group here at Durin's Threshold. Other expedition groups have already moved further on into the depths of Casa Doom, hoping to find Balin's expedition of some years ago and learn of their fate. My fellow dwarves are having a difficult time settling in it, for a number of reasons. If you could assist them, I would be most grateful. Casa Doom belongs to Durin's folk! Well, there, friend, you don't see anything moving in my bet, do you? My sleep has been quite disturbed of late by the feeling of something crawling across my skin. I refuse to lay beneath those blankets again until I am assured there is nothing alive within them. <laughs> Take a look for me, Beryathan, I dare not touch the blankets. My Durin's beard, what madness is this? Durin's 
folk will defy Dorin's bane. This day is intolerable. Res insects rustling around where I lay my head is quite unacceptable. It is not to be borne, I tell you. Where did those hideous little things come from? We have hardly been here a day and already we are infested. I think now I shall need a thorough wash. Let us pick the stable master here. The day of the dwarves is coming! Got a new more dates as well, so quests of the Great Delving. One out of fifteen. Radbox Slayer. Alright, I think that's it. In terms of new deeds. Stay a moment! You will need your aid against the orcs of Moria. Those poor dwarves. They made their doom before they could feast their eyes upon the splendor of Moria. Our victory over this gate is bittersweet, one for me. I would like you to honor the fallen, Brayathan. Perhaps you can plant a banner at their graves, so that we will all remember their bravery and sacrifice. Alright, so we gotta go outside one more time. And I think there is another quest there too. Maybe not. Anyway, let us go and plant those binders really quick. Seems I missed some quest dialogue. And I double check that in just a moment. Let us place the banner. Alright, now we can return. So, well, you must aid our people here at Durin's Threshold and at our other encampments if we are to have victory in Casa Doom. When you have performed some of the tasks here in Durin's Threshold, you should seek for the Dolven View and for the Deep Descent. Pick to bend Sharp Eye at the Dolven View to the east of here and to Tethmar at the Deep Descent among the Silberton Lodes. They will have ways for you to assist the Iron Garrison. Alright, so that makes a lot more sense now because <laughs> I saw there in the quest log asking me to talk to those two guys and I said like, well, when did that happen? But now we know. Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! That was a good deed, Briathan. Thank you for your honor in my stalwart friends. I hope they rest well inside of the halls of their forefathers. <laughs> Alright. Now it seems we need to climb up the stairs first to find Athils. I cannot tell you. First time I enter Moya, first time I climb the stairs. Following the path of the company and, and exploring the mines, it was it's always a marvelous sight in my opinion, being able to just to climb those stairs. For me, it means a lot. Being what the depths were able to do with Moya. They really outdid themselves with, with it, I believe. At long last, we will drive the maggot folk from our halls! Ah, hello, Berethan. We are off to a rough start here, to be sure. But is this not an exciting time? Already we have excavated these most impressive forges. Would you like to help me set up shop? Be careful, the fires are hot. The dwarfs of Moria knew what they were about when they built this. Like dull blades, I can hear. I hope they are all in this area. No, I don't wanna go down just for some dull blades. Oh, 
Oh no, they are only here. That's good. This is a long animation <laughs> for six plates. of Moria have much to account for! Ah, that is fine work, good man. I can tell this was fortune, Moria. The improvement is remarkable already. I look forward to the work to be done here. Alright, now we can go back to Thor mod. But I don't think I wanna make that drop there. I don't think we can survive that, really. Let's go down really quick. The time has come to drive forth the Oros from our kingdom. Thank you for all that you've done, Baryatan. We are certainly off to a better start here now. If we are to find Mithril and Kazadu, we will first have to deal with the Orcs. You have done much for us, and now I am sure you are eager to press on into the tunnels. Thick Thickbeast is at top of the great stair just yonder, and I believe some dwarves under his supervision have already begun to press forward. If you are interested in doing the same, Tubi might have information that would be helpful for your journey. Oh yeah. But or I do that. This is an amazing sight, fully. But I also wanna... I think you know by now. But I'm so in love with the uh, Voic Pose mode. I think it's so awesome. Like. It's perfect. <laughs> it's the perfect emote. I mean, uh, how did I didn't? How did I not know this this existed? That's what I'm asking myself. Dark things dwell now in Moria. Ah, I am glad somewhat with some skill as a warrior has come. I am afraid this tunnel quite unnerves me, Veriathan. Some dwarves have already gone forth under my supervision, but they have not yet returned. What foul and nameless things we face in Moria, I know not. Many of our expedition have pressed forward, for better or worse, but two were supposed to return and they have not. Will you seek out Dakfin? He made for Shemeldurk many hours ago and has not returned. You can find it by pressing it from here, then turning north at your first opportunity. If we drive the orcs from Katadun, will it be enough? If you happen to pass the Chamber of Deep Thought while you search for my friends, would you mind investigating it? Such a place may hold many relics that would in be invaluable to the dwarves. If anything catches your eye, feel free to investigate. We have in here some sort of. We see a curious cocoon near the back of the chamber. 
Okay, so this is the chamber, the chamber of the thought. What is the noise? Oh, jeez. It is Spider Slayer. How many spiders in Moria? 100. I defeated the spider that inhabited this chamber. Let's go back to Ruby. It is said that Durin's Bane dwells here. Alas, I have not seen it. A spider and nothing more. That is dire news. I have never even heard of a great spider that can glow translucent. I hope we do not discover any more of those. Well, at least you have cleared the Chamber of Evil. I will look on the bright side. Perhaps we can begin to restore it now. Light armor, heavy armor. Let us take. All right. So level 52. No new skills. And that thing should be uh, over here. Made it Goblin Slayer. Official talking about a boys in Moria. Oh no, this is Camby. Alright, this is not the guy I was looking for. That's weird. Alright, but in any case. 1 out of 10, you have discovered the Muldur. Well, I just hope the... Yeah, the scholar notes are... I think this is a point in which the game becomes a little bit more generous with your scholar notes. Because previously they were harder to find. But now at least there are a couple in here. May Durin return soon to his halls. Oh, you startled me. I am sorry, I just cannot stop hunting. There must be treasure in this room stowed away somewhere. My father gave me a map of this place, passed down from the time when the Longbeards inhabited Moria, and there were notes of great promise in this hole. I meant only to come in and explore, but I cannot walk away when there is a hope of buried treasure. Will you help me look? Let's do this really quick then. Nothing here. Nothing here. Doesn't seem like there is anything of value. These halls will be great once more. You explained that you rooted through many corners of Shemeldur, but found nothing of promise, and perhaps it would be wise for everyone to return to Durin's threshold. No, no, I cannot believe it. I treasured that map all my life. I cannot accept that it would lead me here only to find its hole empty. No, my father's map was a treasure in and of itself. Alright, well it seems nothing more we can do for this guy. Let us go back to Tubi and bring him the news. I think you can say goodbye to him. I don't think he is coming back really. Not to say, but
dark things dwell now in Moria. That's cool. Just because he treasured a map for a lifetime does not mean that the map was ever going to be accurate. Emeldurk is likely as dry as a bone now. I hope he returns soon to take some rest. Wait a second. Wasn't there supposed to be a quest to help Kambi in here? Am I missing something? Because I was sure there's got to be a quest for that. And the, well, not a problem per se, but the issue now is... The shadow um, of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadun. Well, forcers, forces cannot enter Moria. And uh, I don't have any goats for Veriathan, so... We are on foot. And there is not more quests here. I don't know, am I missing something? Other than the milestone, now we have a milestone in Moria, that's, that's awesome. But yeah, I have a feeling then I, I might be missing something more. Check, but in the meantime, let us move on. Place that it thought, yeah, there is a quest line for that. But I don't know where to pick that one. The Great Delving. I'm supposed to start in the Great Delving here with Tubi. Oh god. I need to check this. May Durin more return soon to his halls. Not sure exactly what am I missing. You know what? We're already 50 minutes in. I think this is a, a good spot to, to finish today's episode. Join me next time, we'll continue pressing on to, uh, further into Moria. I'm gonna check really quick why I'm not getting the other quests with, with Tubi and be back with you on the next episode with an answer. For the time being, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you are ex as excited as I am to be inside Moria and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe my friends, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye to all you.